This February, Bremerton School District has two local funding measures on the special election ballot. A Replacement Educational Programs and Operations, or ep levy, and a capital bond to fund high-priority updates to aging school facilities. What does this mean for tax rates? If the measures are approved by voters, local tax rates are projected to decrease while providing updates to tired buildings district-wide and funding programs and services families count on. About 15% of Bremerton School District's budget is funded by voter-approved local levy dollars. The ep levy funds 100% of extracurricular activities, such as music, theater, and athletics, including coach and instructor salaries and travel to competitions. The levy also helps to fund the cost of staff positions and programs, including classroom teachers, classroom support specialists, special education staff, safety and security officers, technology staff, health services and school counselors, custodial and maintenance staff, and grounds and building upkeep, equipment, and vehicles. Levy funding also supports paraeducators and professional development and training, and classroom resources like textbooks. Bremerton voters will also be asked to consider a bond measure to fund high-priority updates to school facilities, Bremerton School District engaged school families, community members, and staff to serve on a facilities advisory committee. The group determined that while the district has maintained its facilities well, many school buildings have outlasted their useful life. The committee recommended updates and replacements for five high-priority projects. Armanjar Elementary, built in 1969, should be replaced because the cost of improvements would be more than the current value of the facility. View Ridge Elementary, built in 1952 and last remodeled in 1993, has reached the end of its useful life and needs to be replaced. Renaissance High School should be replaced and relocated. The school is made up of 10 portable classrooms and is unable to support all classes required for graduation. The committee recommended Renaissance be moved to a permanent building in a more centralized location. Consolidated facilities, built in 1945, which houses the district's maintenance, operations, and transportation, should also be replaced. Finally, the committee recommended the district-wide improvements should be made to the school's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. How much will the levy and bond cost? The proposed ep levy rate is estimated to be $1.89 per $1,000 of assessed property value. The proposed bond rate is estimated to be $1.06. Combined, the rate for both the ep levy and a 25-year bond will be $2.95 per $1,000 of assessed value. That's about 11 cents lower than the rate of the two expiring levies. For the owner of a $400,000 home, the cost would be approximately $98 per month, about $44 less annually. Please remember to vote by February 13th. Look for a replacement ep levy and a capital bond on the ballot. If approved, the proposed measures would maintain programs, services, and staffing that our community values and update aging school facilities that have reached the end of their useful life. Learn more at bremertonschools.org forward slash levy dash bond.